Hello again. The whole point of this video is um, I had posted a picture of some of these um, walking sticks. I made a couple. Made a couple of these. The 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 uh, zebra would just make some really really nice patterns. And there's nothing. There's nothing. This is just um, some teak oil with a coat of um, wax on top. Uh, they're all finished the same. So you see these beautiful patterns that come out. It's just a, such a great wood. Um, and it's also, like this is the thinnest one here, which is only about three quarters of an inch, if that. And you guys see here, I could put quite a bit of, it's nice and flexible. I can put quite a bit of weight. There's just, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to really try to break this thing. So it's a very nice, it's a very nice walking stick wood. Um, yeah, I like it. So when I posted those pictures, somebody is, it was a couple of people I had, um, had requested to see how, uh, those were made. So this is a little bit less of a bushcraft like I didn't carve these by hand I didn't, I didn't use my draw knife either because the fibers are so difficult to work with uh, I just use my router table so that's but I'll still show you guys how to how I uh, made this so everything starts with this thing this piece was actually about double this size. It was a good uh, 9, 10 inches wide and it's very very thick. It's a good 2 inches thick. So it's a quarter sawn zebra wood. You can see it. It's very heavy. You can see here it's quarter sawn so which means that the grains going from end to end up to down so it makes um, the top have some pretty neat patterns and what it means is that uh, for the consistency of the wood too, anything I make with this is going to be very very strong because it's quarter sawn. Uh, if if the if the grain was going through and through, anything I could uh, anything I would make with it could uh, very well uh, bow like uh, warp. But when you when you use quarter sawn wood, uh, the uh, whatever you make with it is a lot more um, consistent and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's stronger because all of the fibers are aligned and it doesn't warp as much so it doesn't move as much so let's get started so I'll just all right so I cut out a slice like that from the board about seven eighths and then I cut it using the same measurement uh, this way so what that did is again I, I missed the middle I didn't really spend too much time trying to get it perfect so um, it got so it'll make one that is slightly oblong and then the other one will be perfectly square so actually I think I got a bit more towards the middle than last time but either way it uh, even the one even the, the stick that is uh, it's going to be uh, wider than uh, than whatever it's not going to be a perfect circle it actually feels really comfortable in the hand so uh, now that I have these two staffs uh, made, all I gotta do is go to the uh, the router table, and I'll show you guys that. noisy process makes it a circle so it's just a uh, quarter quarter circle bit 
that you pass through three or four times or four or five times more like and uh, yeah so once that's done you have uh, a basically already staff and uh, so next steps is just to uh, sand it sand it nice and neat and then apply the finish it's a fairly simple process so let's do it. So now she's sanded. Spent time with uh, uh, 120 to get all the roughness and jumps and uh, and whatnot. And, uh, and then I spent uh, uh, a couple, several minutes uh, with uh, the 220, and then uh, finally finishing it off with the uh, 400. So as a finish, I use uh, Tongue Antique. It's a marine oil finish. I find that it really protects the wood nicely and it uh, so you'll see that this nice light color really transforms once the, uh, the oil gets into it. See how it really, really transforms. So here, there's nothing, and then all of a sudden, you get these beautiful, this beautiful shiny finish with all these amazing grain grain patterns. It's just a coat of oil. It's all you need to make this this wood shine. So basically, that's done. So once this dries, then I uh, sand it down with some um, steel wool, just between the coats. It'd be a bit about three coats of uh, this oil, and uh, yeah. So often, what I'll do is uh, I'll kind of like this one. This is our other walking stick that we made for uh, for the uh, Mike Barton's challenge. So kind of like this one, uh, I often take just the uh, a leather lace from a work boot and wrap it around, or find a way to, to make kind of a handhold. Either even sometimes just uh, as a top part, just as an ornament, and because honestly. Uh, I, I do them more for the look so when I give uh, if I want to give this uh, as a gift or sell it uh, like it, it people seem to like the, the leather look but for my own personal uh, walking stick I I use I don't actually put any leather on it at all because especially with the terrain I have crazy terrain here I live in a mountain and uh, it's all rocky you guys will see throughout the videos it's always uh, rocky terrain uh, and uh, a lot of uh, creeks and, and, and rivers and bogs and all kinds of stuff so uh, the fact of having nothing uh, on this allows me to change my handhold at different heights uh, while I'm hiking so I don't like to have anything to, to tell me where to put my specifically put my hand so um, yeah so that was the creation of uh, of the zebra wood walking stick. If I it, honestly, if I wasn't using power tools, I would not have 
uh, it would be uh, like 10 times harder to deal with this wood because even with uh, even with the power tools there's still several places that the uh, the bit chipped it want because normally with a wood that has a proper that has a uh, more tamed um, uh, grain direction like you, you just have to you, you just look at the board and you feel the board and the grain tells you okay so this is the direction of the grain so I'm gonna go with the grain and everything will be fine but uh, this one is every three inches the grain direction changes so uh, it, it's it's really really hard to, to work with but anyways so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, see you guys next time